My name is Benji Rogers. I'm founder and CEO of Pledge Music. We're a um, global direct-to-fan platform. We help artists both raise funds and do kind of hyperactive, uh, incredible social pre-orders. And what's been some of the more innovative campaigns that you've seen? You know, um, Gang of Four uh, ran an amazing one whereby they were offering fans options to buy files of their blood, you know, and they uh, painted ceramic tiles with, with events depicting world histories. One artist wanted to offer a threesome with Mick Jagger for $10 million, but sadly that was illegal, according to our lawyers. Um, and I don't know if it was possible. Um, but we've seen things where, you know, um, one of my favorites was his Ben Folds, actually, from the Ben Folds Five, was on stage and he basically brought his camera out, took a photo, he told the entire audience, give me the middle finger. They all did. And then he basically snapped a picture of it and said, that will now be available to buy in limited edition on the website now. So basically, in real time, you change what's available. Rather than just sitting there with a, st a static set of five items, why? Make it 15, make it 30, make it 100. Um, and it's really, the innovation comes from the artists themselves who are creative people who are stuck with buy six products here. It's certainly different from the, uh, I guess, the, the old fashioned way of, oh, here's a tour CD, or yeah. here's a tour t-shirt, yeah. or, or here's a key ring or a badge. It's really yeah. taking it to the next level, isn't yeah. it? I mean, you know, one of the examples was is that Ben offered a signed set list from the show. So imagine if you were at that show, you get to buy the set list that you've seen, and the best was his one just said on, on all he wrote on his set list was don't F it up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't use the F word, he used the F word. But, so I think really what it's about is, is that one little personalized item of that type resonates because social, because social allows that to be shared and syndicated. On our platform is built the, the technology to help artists syndicate help fans syndicate everything that the artist does. It's not about product anymore, it's about process. If you look at the way, I mean, this, this conference is full of you know, YouTube stars, yes. but how are they monetizing? How are they turning that into a long-term sustainable career? And the answer is, is there should be a social layer beneath. It's not for everybody. Yes. And that you engage them in that, that piece. It's not, it's, it's not about one size fits all. We, we really try and have that. But, it doesn't work. This, th these are for the, the, the hardcore of the fans who want to do more than just buy an album, buy a t-shirt, buy a CD. Do you have any advice for musicians who you know, are, are looking at something yeah. like Pledge Music? Yeah, I mean, you know, get in touch with us and we'll help you with it. You know, part of what we set up was we didn't want to set up a fan funding company. We didn't want to set up a, a direct-to-consumer company. We wanted to be a hybrid. So if an artist comes to us and says, I want to make a new CD, I want to offer my fans part of the journey our team will help you it's not about just like you know sign up and do it here and read, read 50 blogs and figure out how to do it we'll help you we're here to do that because what, what might take you four hours of reading blogs we can do in five minutes by one of our team and so we're a music company like stretched over the skin of a website and but but in order to make the campaign successful artists should ask themselves every day what have I given my fans to do not to buy not to stream, but what have I given them to do? And if fans can do things, then they can share the process. So really what it's about is, is um, oh, and one last thing. Artists need to control their own email list. Artists need to have a way to access their hardcore fans. And one of the things, you know, if you think about it, most artists send all of their fans to retail, to iTunes and to Amazon, where they're gone. And there's nothing wrong with those platforms. You should use them, they should be up there, but not first. First, you should be with your fans directly. And, if, and only by controlling the email list will an artist actually be able to do that.